Fang has come out. So Operation Broken Fang has come out. I know this is a very late video on like investments, but you know, of course, it's kind of hard to invest in the beginning because you don't know the actual prices of everything. But it's opened up a lot of opportunity for investments. So I'm gonna go over uh, some skins that I have been investing in. So as you can see, I already made a, like a video a little bit ago on my blue phosphors just to show them off. <laughs> but yeah, if you do have some money, I mean. I just like these, so it's more of a personal investment. I just like these, so just to, just to have. They're shiny. They have the sapphire, more looking finish, and of course blue. Very nice. And if you add some uh, uh, battle scarred hollows to these, they look really good. Uh, but you don't have to because that kind of... Then you just lost four stickers, which would be great investments. Which I have. These are just I was uh, I was using my um, stars to get like to open the stickers, and I got two hollows. I've already opened a few other hollows as well. But yeah, so I have five blue phosphors. I try to get them in the best float. And actually, I have a browser browser extension which I use to do that. Uh, I think it's called Float Checker or something like that. And you just uh, open Steam in your browser, and then when you have that extension on it shows you uh, all the floats without needing to inspect the skins in-game which is very nice so I'll link that in the description and also my five seven berries and cherries I know that people a lot of people have said not to invest in the control collection but you know it's I mean I I think that it still will do well and of course again with these this is my highest float one point zero one four and then I have I snagged a lot of these at good prices, so 0 0.0029, a lot of these are 0 0.00s or 0 0.01s for their float. So uh, if you can get these at a good price and low floats, you know, definitely try and snag a few of them because then you can mark them up later in price for if someone's doing a trade up for them, they're going to want really low float ones. So definitely look into these if you have the money for it. Now, if you do want a cheaper investment, I, again, I have been investing into these Battle Scarred Hollows. They are down in this storage container right here. Or, wrong storage container. <laughs> Sorry. This storage container. This right here. This holds all, like, all of them. All my stickers. And a few of, uh, a few of the other skins that I got just from doing my 100 star opening uh a, a while ago but yeah so I, I have bought a ton of these and of course i have the ones you know i got i got a lot of different stuff in here and some cs20 cases because i thought that you know if it if it gets discontinued then i think that'd be a good investment since it holds the classic knife but yeah so I'd re i would definitely recommend still buying some of these battle scarred hollows i could see them going up to about maybe seven dollars or eight dollars after the operation because honestly they just look so good that like when they move around here, wait, hold up. There we go. They just this just contrast here. I really like it. And when you put it on something like the blue phosphor here, like if you just it goes well on almost any skin, especially like flat colored skins like this. So if you have just blue uh, like a flat colored skin, maybe like a op red line, I would recommend slapping a few of these on here or on there, I guess. So yeah, they just look really good. I would definitely recommend buying a few of those. If they drop in price, I would just create a buy order and just like set it at like I have I have a buy order at three point eight currently, just because I'm okay with buying them at that price. I think that they'll double from there probably. But yeah, that's about it. I've been doing five seven berries and cherries, blue phosphors, and battle scarred hollows are my primary investments for this. Now, if you're going for the skins. Get them in super low floats, and if they're on like the first page of inve of uh, of the Steam Community Market, I I think that they're I, that's a that's a relatively good price. Of course, if you look at the graph, it'll show you what prices they have been, so you can either wait for them to drop or something like that. And yet again, I will link um, the float checker extension, the browser the browser add-on in the description, because that is extremely good for finding. Uh, floats without needing to inspect the guns in game so i hope you have enjoyed and leave a like on the video maybe subscribe but these are the investments that i've been doing stay safe don't get scammed and get some good investments
拜拜。